And moving on to our next award, it's the most improved driver. So it's back to the brick. Bryson. Yeah, so the most improved driver, I mean, out of all the categories, when the nominees went out, I thought, I can't call who's going to be in the top three of this one. Other categories, you can sort of roughly estimate sort of four or five drivers who will be among that top three. This one, everyone's had a very good year. Um, all standout years from that perspective. So, yeah, I mean, straight into the top three, we'll, we'll go. But it was, yeah, it was anyone's game, I think, this 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 award. Uh, so in at third, we've got Team V, Pilot Dalton Steele, 466. Not only has he sort of had a very good season at his local Wharton, he's done many a trip down to Kings Lynn. He's been down to Ringwood for an all-Mercedes meeting and sort of mixed it amongst, amongst the top boys all, all season. Um, been very good and, and very consistent all year, so very worthy of his third place. Uh, in at second, we've got 32, Callum Reid, who last couple of seasons has gone from strength to strength. And I think, to be honest, is not not far off of a, a major championship win, in, in my opinion, is, is uh, Callum. So he's in at second. And taking the win is, is Ty Williams, who sort of not not come from nowhere within the banger scene but this year been on it mostly in his supers but obviously he had that that lush mark 7 jaguar at uh world final and uh, other other sort of dominant displays as well where he's been absolutely on it and sort of more recently the nutcracker at kings lynn he was he was by far um his by far sort of one of the standout performers of the meeting on, on that occasion and looks like he's going to have a very good year. He's already tooled up with, with lots of material next year so it looks like next year he's going to be sort of heading down the BWS Entertainers route which will be sort of be interesting to see but yeah, he wins our, our most improved driver category and yeah, all, all very deserving with, within that top three there. Yeah, it's interesting what you say, Brick. I'm, I'm with you when when we had the nominations and we sent them out to vote, this is the one that I just couldn't pick. I did not know which way it would be going. Uh, again, it's probably because the category is very difficult, isn't it? Like with most improved, but like you said, like Ty has been a standout going from like where he was to being where he is now. And I suppose that's all you can judge it by. Um, Callum Reed, of course, is, is, is this year is uh, been at hit here and there and within a few of the biggest talking moments of the year maybe and Dalton Steele is again another driver that has been absolutely fantastic um with most improved drivers you're always going to look about what they're going to do next year and I think what you said about Ty is it will be interesting to, to keep an eye on him because if you're going to say they're the most improved it's always what then comes afterwards but all three of them I th I'm expecting pretty much big things from them because they've all been so good this year and I think there's no signs of it going any other way than up for them. Yeah, exactly that. And yeah, I mean, with, with, with Dalton really, they've been very quick all year um, on the pace. Ty has as well, but I think with with the case of sort of second and third place, it, it's a case of how they can build on that and, and develop results where they qualify for the, the sort of well fought night, right? Although Reedy did this year, obviously, again, he sort of come through the last chances once again um, in the stat aspect. Whereas I think Ty's going to go a different route this year, uh, this coming year. Um, we're going down this sort of BWS route with his, his sort of been posted on Facebook some of the cars he's been collect, uh, sort of picking up on 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 route to meetings and, and sort of stocking up ready for the new year. and yeah, it looks like that's the route that he's going to go down. So it's, it's going to be tasty. But I mean, not only have you got them, you've got, we've already discussed sort of Jack Deacon, the year that he's had um, and, and Team Black have had. He's been brilliant. And then um, Kurt Bays from, from over at Warnerton, he's someone who he typically turns out a good motor, ghost rider. Most will know him as a uh, ghost rider. But yeah, he sort of was up there in the points, I think third or fourth overall in the points. And, um, Camzo is one of them tracks where it doesn't look like it's easy to get around and to to go from someone who is re relatively low within the points to, to as high as his finish that shows that the progression he's had then you've got people like Tommy Callahan, 
girls fought. No like Nat obviously had a bit of luck this year, took his his biggest title this year, the the British. So a little bit of luck this year, Nat. Um but we'll we'll have to call him. Uh Keza one, two, three, obviously booked his place in his first world final. Danny Mitchell was was on it and Pete, someone who that sort of we tipped to to go within the in, in go well within the world final. And all Harding and Russell Gill as well. Um featured there, although he's sort of one of the older generation of, of drivers within there. Um in terms of a very standout standout year for him on the track star scene with his with his boy Callum. So yeah, all drivers uh, uh, as as I say, could have been anyone within that top three, but obviously Cage Nation had their say and and they are our top three.